Hi, uh, welcome. Thank you, uh, Professor Hinton. Thank you, Professor Mazzola. Uh, if everyone uh, except Erica could please do us a favor and mute yourself uh, to ensure that we have silence during the reading, that would be so wonderful. Um, I want to start, uh, obviously, by thanking Professor uh, Hinton for organizing this in a time, like Professor Mazzola said, when we need it so much. Um, there's no avoiding the fact that we are in this space, this digital space here, because of the current health crisis. Um, space as we know it has been disrupted. Um, time has been disrupted. Reality has experienced a rift, a rupture. People are dying and the only way to stay safe in the world right now is to socially distance. Uh, it's a necessity but a deceiving euphemism for isolating. And this space is proof that it doesn't have to be isolating. But this world rupture has actually brought us together here. Uh, we're together to bathe in words, um, to find beauty and community in and despite this break, this fracture. Erica Hunt's work is written for a fractured world for a world aware of its edges and its borders, aware of where it grates against its own pieces. In her book, Time Slips Right Before Your Eyes, the question that I tell you this story, a story that tells and forgets, is raised in the title poem. For Hunt, what is told, what is remembered, and what is forgotten are all equally important parts of the landscape. What we do here tonight in the light of her words builds the story others will tell. We are co-creating not just the literature of this crisis, but new modes of community within its wake. Erica has come to us as a storyteller, uh, a woman in whose world the night exits fast, and the morning appears an alien character on a wobbling planet. I know, for me, these words from, uh, from Hunt's work, Arcade, speak to how arbitrary time feels in quarantine. Night does exit so fast. Uh, these words speak to the way each day appears with the regularity of the sun, and yet is still unfamiliar, an alien outside the window of most familiar place, my own home. And it's on this wobbling planet that we must attempt to get our footing. But luckily, we've found our way here. I'm grateful for that. Uh, with the guiding light of art and words uh, here to this broadcast this evening, here to Erica Hunt. Uh, as you know, Erica Hunt is known for her works, uh, I mentioned Arcade, Time Slips Right Before Your Eyes, as well as the amazing anthology she co-edited, uh, Letters to the Future, an anthology that has completely changed the way uh, I approach teaching contemporary literature as um, a literature teacher, a high school literature teacher, um, and it's become the textbook for my creative writing class. Uh, so she has infiltrated uh, the public schools. In a time when we need forward thinkers, artists, and rebels, and teachers who can see both how to mend a fractured world and how to find beauty in it, I could not be more thrilled to introduce Erica Hunt as the first poet in this year's Truly Interrupted uh, Interruption series. So if you would please pass your attention to Erica. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. That's lovely. Thank you. Um, well, I'm very pleased to be here. Um, I, I'm going to change the view so that I have the, ah, that's it, the gallery view. I want to be one square among the many. 